In this video, we're going to explore more chord voicings for gospel music and jazz. My name is Paul Toby. Thanks so much for joining me. This comes as a question from one of our subscribers, Martin Waugh, who says a video by Albin Lopez a few days ago on the Jazz Pianist Group reawakened my interest in voice movement associated with gospel type music. So he's asking me to take a listen to it. I not only listened to it, but I actually transcribed the entire performance by Albin Lopez, who, by the way, interestingly enough, proclaimed on the Jazz Pianist channel in Facebook that he was a beginner. So nothing really could be further from the truth. I'm not exactly why he said that, unless he's living in a complete bubble and he doesn't really understand his abilities, but it's definitely not beginner. And there was some great sounds, some great chord movement in it, which obviously inspired Martin and it inspired me too, so much so that I transcribed the entire thing. So let's pick up where we left off in the last video. We started on the third bar here where we started to get into the melody. And that's the one grace note that I really liked. It was really gospel. Love that, that flat 13 there. And then we're going to continue on here with this chord progression, which is this. So eventually I'm going to play the entire piece for you. But for now, we're just going through it bar by bar trying to figure out the chords that Albin is playing. So let's grab a screenshot and let's take a look at the chord progressions. So this is pretty standard, a B minor 11th chord. So all you're doing is you're playing B minor in root position with the 9th and 11th on top. So it's just root position. And then B minor 11th to A minor 11th, just go down a whole step. So that's pretty common when you're talking about chord movement. It just gives it that extra feel. And then it's obviously a 2-5 of G major 7, which is the A minor 11th to D7 sharp 11. So. And that's an inner voice movement. We talked about that before. Essentially, every note of the chromatic scale is available as a movement for dominant seventh chords. So we're just going from the sharp 11 to the fifth. And then a little break with getting back into classical. So if you're taking a look at that, it might not be exactly written as played, but I think it's pretty close. Slowed way down. So again. So there's inner voice movement, very reminiscent of gospel music where you've got the flat 13 leading to the 13. So. You're gonna see a lot of this type of chord in gospel music where you're taking the root and then you're going up a whole step and putting a triad on that chord. So A over G, or G over F, or D over C. You're going to hear that sound a lot in gospel music. F minor 7, pretty straightforward, just root position. And now you've got a 2-5. So instead of labeling this an A minor 7th chord, which it really could be, a 2-5 of G. There's a D in the root. And I tried to pick out that chord as much as I could from the recording. Again, it was a little hard to hear, but I think it's pretty close. And then the D7 with a flat 13 and a sharp 9. So the sharp 9 being the F, the flat 13 being the B flat. I think you can really take a slice off of that chord, and if you were to put an A minor 7th in front of it, you could play or... 
So there's a lot of ways to play that. It's just one way. So you've got this chord. Now try to remember the reason why these more jazzy chords work in gospel music is because most of it is pretty straight ahead, just triads and sixths. And then if you, from that very simple music, throw in some more complicated chords, it starts to really stand out. That's why when you're hearing it with your ears, those chords that are outside of the norm of gospel music really sound good. And that's what I, I think caught Martin's ear when he listened to the Alvin Lopez recording. All right, let's just move on and tackle the next line. Pretty straightforward here. Now remember, we approached this with a 2-5 of G, right? It was. Now there's those sixths reappearing as we did in the beginning. Remember the beginning was. And he has that theme throughout, which really makes it nice when you're repeating those motifs. Nothing too complicated there, just a straight F minor seven to B seven. Really, B minor seventh over A, it's also maybe a G major seventh in root position. And now he's got this really nice movement. So pretty straight ahead through this whole section, and then we're just sidestepping all of that and playing these triads. Now we talked a little bit before about B flat over A flat, or C over B flat, or D over C right? One whole tone above the root. In this case, it's the opposite. It's B flat over a whole tone above. And just, you know, following that pattern through the melody. And it's not really melody at this point, it's just passing chords. And getting into the next line. So again, this 2-5 here, you're putting the A down in the root and just continuing that through the bar and playing different chords on top. We've had that A13 flat 9 chord before, it's just really nice. And then back into the melody. And we're gonna finish off this melody section in the next tutorial and the ending part, which is actually kind of cool. So thanks so much, Albin Lopez, for recording this. It's really a pleasure to take a look at somebody else's performance and transcribe it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna play the entire piece for you as transcribed from Alvin Lopez right now. And then when I come back, I'm gonna give you a link to go get the sheet music so you can practice it yourself. Thanks so much for your time. Let me play it for you and we'll see you after the recording.
Okay, so there's the performance of Albin Lopez's uh, recording. Hopefully I got most of it correct when I transcribed it. Let me put a link to the sheet music up here in the corner. You can go and download that, check it out and learn it. It's definitely gonna help you with your blues, jazz and gospel playing. Some really good chords going on here. So thanks so much for your time. If you like the video, you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, just hit the little bell when you do because you'll get notified of all of the upcoming videos that we're making, not just gospel and blues, but a lot of jazz videos and stuff that's really gonna help your playing. Thanks so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.